Hi everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining a very very important topic of SQL that is aggregate functions. It's an important topic, but it's a simple topic, right? If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of aggregate functions. So these functions, these aggregate functions take a collection of values as input and return a single value as the result. So here this is the main characteristic of aggregate function. So aggregate function always take a group of values, a set of values. You are going to give the input as set of values. But after applying this aggregate function, the result will be a single value. So the result will be a single value. For example, some of the aggregate functions are sum, average, count, minimum, maximum. You can see sum, sum takes a collection of values. For example, if I want to uh, calculate the sum for 1, 2, 3, what is the sum there? 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. You can see there, 1 comma 2 comma 3 is not, it is a collection of values. It will take 1 comma 2 comma 3. What is the result there? Sum is 6. So you can see, uh, the input is a set of values 1 comma 2 comma 3, but the result 6 is what? It is a single value. So sum will calculate, uh, calculate the sum of the set of values. It will take the values and it will calculate sum of those values. Next. Uh, type of aggregate function is average as you all know it takes a collection of values again you can observe there input it can, can contain more it can sorry it can take more number of values set of values for average also and it will remain uh, and it will return the average of those values in the same way as some it will calculate the average for uh, right for example 1 plus 2 uh, 1 plus 2 plus uh, 3 right here also you are giving the input for average as 1 comma 2 comma 3. So you have to calculate the average 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3. What is the value? 6 divided by 3. The average will be 2. Right? Like that. So average will calculate the average aggregate function calculate the average by taking the set of input. Count will obviously take a collection of values and return the number of values in a collection. For example, if I if my set contains three values, the count will return three. It will count the values. So if, you, if the input is having three values, count will display the output as three. So for input, I am using the set of values, but the output will be a single value. Minimum, maximum, obviously it will take the set of values it will calculate the minimum of minimum minimum value from a set or it will calculate the maximum value from a set right very simple these are the aggregate functions and one more important thing while you are ag using aggregate function you have to use group by class in SQL right because you have to group your set of values you have to group your values that's why Grouping is very important when you are using aggregate function in SQL. For example, uh, we have written a query here. It's a simple query to find the total sum of salaries of all the female employees in an organization. Sim simple words, I have to calculate the sum of the salaries of all the female employees. How I am going to do this means you can see G. G is used to show the aggregation is to be applied, right? So I am applying for the group of values, salary contains the group of values, I am applying sum to the salary, it will calculate the sum of the all the salaries of the female employees, hope you are understanding, it will return the sum of the salaries of all the female employees, right? And one more important thing, to eliminate the duplicates, distinct keyword is used. In aggregate function, if you want to eliminate the values the, uh, that are repeated, you can use a distinct keyword. For example, you can see here how you can use a distinct count. 
the number of branches in the university i am trying to count the number of branches in the university so see i am giving the branch name it will count the number of branches but along with the count i am using a distinct if any branch is repeated it will remove the duplicated branch and it will display the single or right distinct value right hope you are understand so that's it guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video